I'm back with another Granny Square project. I really want to make a scarf that is all Granny Squares. I have made one before and I gave it to a friend that I was visiting in another country. But I really want one for myself and I feel like I've seen quite a few recently that have really inspired me. So please feel free to join me on this project today. I'm going to try and make it a one day project. making a slightly different kind of granny square. It's got more of like a sparkle in the middle rather than a flower. So this is kind of a variation on Meza Crafts um, twinkling granny square pattern. And I would recommend checking out her video if you want to see her pattern in full. Okay, so here's how I'm making these squares. I start with a slip knot chain three, put my hook through the first chain and do a slip stitch, find that hole in the middle and do a single crochet into it and chain three, single crochet, chain three and keep chaining three and doing single crochets around the circle until you've got eight of these loops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one more. And after the last three chains, slip stitch into the first single crochet. So join the next color and chain three. Double crochet into the same loop. And again, and then double crochet into the next loop. So just doing three double crochets per loop. And after the final one, join to the first one with a slip stitch. And attach your third color in any space between the three double crochets. Chain three, double crochet into the same space. And again, so you've got three in a group, chain two, to act as a corner of a square and double crochet again into that same space and again and again. So you should have six double crochets in the same space with a point in the middle. Now double crochet into the next space. Again in a group of three Another group of three in the next space with a corner, which is two chains, and another group in the same space. Three double crochets, six double crochets with a corner in the middle, three double crochets, another corner, and last group of three in the middle here and join. And finally add your last color to a corner. Chain five, double crochet, double crochet two more times. So this first chain acts as a double crochet plus the two chains for the corner. And continue like the previous row. gone to heaven, crochet heaven. So I decided to try and make weekly YouTube videos, emphasis on try, at a time that just became really busy. <laughs> My band is recording our album next month and so we have a lot of songwriting going on and I'm also writing a little novella to go with the album. And I am doing a textiles course which is full-time uni and um, if you haven't already watched my video on all the fun things that I do in my classes you can watch that right here
was time for a break. I tend to not notice the time going by when I crochet. I've made eight squares. I don't actually know how many I need for this scarf, but I need a lot more than eight. I'm not even sure if I want it to just be one square in width or maybe two, but I do quite like um, scarves that are on the thinner side. I started off wanting a kind of autumnal color palette, but the orange yarn that I've got in the store looked really orange, but now it just kind of looks like a fleshy color. I'm kind of just using whatever color I like now. And it looks a bit more spring themed, which is actually the next season that we're transitioning into currently in Australia. I'm definitely not finishing this today. Maybe if I had started in the morning instead of the afternoon and I wasn't going out tonight, then I could have done it, but... The next day. So this morning I finished the squares and I've got them laid out in the order that I want to sew them. Obviously the color palette has changed quite a lot from the autumnal brown, orange, red theme that I had at the start. I just can't help myself when it comes to blue, apparently. I'm just so drawn to it and you know, it's gonna match all my clothes. Let's get these attached. a while but the ends are now hidden except for just the yarn that I used to connect all the squares but I think with my next step that's gonna get tucked away anyways so it's looking almost like a finished scarf and I'm really excited about it and the plan is to single crochet along both sides just to give it a bit more of a consistent shape and yeah just as a finishing touch I guess and I was thinking of maybe also doing a bit of a scalloped edge with the fluffy red yarn. So let's get onto that and I think we're gonna be done really soon. So this is how the granny square scarf turned out and I love it. I hope you have also made a scarf that you love or are inspired to make one. So thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this and a comment. It really helps me out. And subscribe and I'll see you next time.